Hey, what's up guys? Jason Richardson here again. And the strings I typically use, uh, I kind of hop back and forth between the Ernie Ball Paradigms and the Ernie Ball Cobalts. Uh, depending on the gauge. Right now this guitar is in C sharp standard with a low F sharp is what is what this low string is. I have 11 to 58 on here. Everyone always asks about like the lighter gauges and why, like why you don't use like a 159 million gauge string for the bottom one. My opinion on that is the lighter you can go, the brighter that string is gonna be. And when you're dealing with the low notes like that, like if you have a massive string, it kind of rounds and deadens the sound out in my opinion, and you get way less like note quality uh, as opposed to using the, the lighter gauge string. With the lighter gauge, you get this, with the, these low notes, you get this really bright like pop like uh, sound characteristic as well. Like you can still, there's a lot of note in there as well as that super percussive kind of sound. I just have never been able to get that with the thicker string. And like the thicker strings, they, they don't vibrate as much as opposed to the lighter ones. They tear your fingers up. Everything about the lighter gauge for the lower notes is like, is obviously there's like a cutoff point between where it starts to waver like a lot. When I'm tuning, I try to use the same kind of force that I would be for like playing the song live. So that way when I'm hitting it, even though it's the lighter gauge with the super low notes, when it is, when it, if it is gonna waver just the tiniest little bit, it does it right at that exact pitch that you would need it to be for playing live. If you're used to playing the super low or the really, really heavy gauges and then switching over to the lighter one, that's not something you would want to do. Like if you're on the middle of a tour or something, just want to, oh, I'm just going to use lighter gauges. That's, that's, I would not recommend that. They're just everything about the lighter ones just feels better and they sound better as well. But yes, you do have to be a little bit more controlled with your right hand and like, and, um, and making sure that when you're tuning the low string, you're using the same force that you would be live. So that way, if it is gonna waver just that slight little bit, you're you're tuning it at the at like it's that wavering point. Thanks for hanging out and keep practicing.